and we are live what's going on youtube fam it's been a while since i uh i've gone live i think the last time was the bike giveaway and i got my boy mike joining me tonight we're gonna reveal to you all the colors for the 2023 harleys mike thanks for joining me man how you doing good thanks for having me it's always a pleasure awesome man thank you thank you for joining all right let's uh let me get right into this People don't want to wait for this stuff. So let me bring up the slides here. And we're going to get this done. Screen. Boom. And here we go. Share. All right. You see that, right, Mike? Sure do. Awesome. Uh, a couple of things to remember as we go along here. If you're watching, please hit the like button. That really, really helps us. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. That really, really helps out the channel. And, you know, I'm, I do a lot of videos like this. Whenever I, I'm getting updates for 2023, I'm immediately sharing them uh, with, uh, with you guys, the audience. The, uh, just so you guys know, I do have contacts at both the dealership and the corporate level. So I don't actually share anything that i haven't confirmed by both okay and i usually get a pretty hard confirmation for the colors themselves i actually got the color listings Let me show some, a little bit right there all right but let's go over all these because you guys don't want to read a small thing like that uh just to reiterate there's some notable noticeable bikes missing from here we're missing the 883 because it's gone so it's the 48 the soft tail standard is no more the Road King standard is missing from this list because it's no more. And the Electric Light standard is missing from this list. Now, one, a couple of bikes that are here that we actually expected to go away are the Road Light and Street Light standards. So it was interesting that they're still here. Uh, Gambi Marco says, hello from France. Hey, what's going on, man? Glad to, glad to have viewers in France. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, the uh, street light and road light standards are here on this list. So you know, uh, I don't know if they're gonna put a, a 114 in them. I don't know what's gonna happen with those, but uh, the 107 engine, we know it's gone. So you know, it should be fun. Mike, anything you're looking forward to at a Harley for 2023? The Bronx. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, there are a couple more sportsters that are gonna come out. That's for sure. We just don't know what they are yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and all we really know about the Bronx is that they did renew the trademark on the name. So we're very, very hopeful that the Bronx will come out. All right, so let's get to it here. Slide number one. We start off with the Sportster Nightster, the RH975. And just like this year, uh, this thing is going to come in vivid black and red line red. Uh, I think this year they also had a gray one in, for 2022, but that won't be the case. You see down there, you see uh, Voss Helmets, USA.com. Thank you, Voss, for sponsoring the channel and the video. If you guys need a helmet, go to Voss Helmets, USA.com. Use the link down in the description below. Okay? All right. Moving right along here. Mike, what about you for a nice year? You're a big guy, but. I'm a big guy. I just, something about the riding position is just. You would, you would not fit well on a nice year, buddy. Let me tell you. It's way too small of a bike for you. All right. Moving right along here. We have the Sportster S, the RH1250, and you see right there is going to come in vivid black, billiard blue, gray haze, which is, uh, from what I'm understanding, that because keep in mind the swatches haven't uh, been delivered to the dealers yet. The gray haze is supposed to be lighter than the than the gunship gray, but it's not metallic like the gauntlet gray. So that should be fun, and the white sand pearl sticking around with the Sportster S. Moving right along, we get to the Pan America. Now, another big rumor for the Pan America is that this year we'll see the introduction of a 975 version, which actually sells really well for BMW and, uh, and Honda and the other adventure bike uh, manufacturers. So the Pan America is only coming in vivid black, just like this year. That's nothing, uh, nothing new. But the Pan America Special is coming in the vivid black, that gray haze, and then it's coming in industrial yellow with white sand pearl. So essentially, this bike you see here will have this yellow tank here, which I think is going to look pretty cool. 
Any thoughts so far, Mike? Uh, that the yellow is going to be interesting. Yeah, I think that's going to look really, really awesome. Now, we do have some more yellow coming up for those of you that don't know. So that should be plenty of fun. If you guys want to get in, uh, get all the videos for my channel early and have automatic entry into the giveaways, you can sign up at patreon.com slash 305 rider. Uh, as little as $1 a month will get you guys into the giveaways and will get you early access to all of my videos. I bet you didn't know that, Mike. Did not. I learn everything. I learn something new every day. You sure do. All right, moving on to the soft tails. We have my absolutely favorite bike. It's my Street Bob. I have a Street Bob if you don't know, but you should know because you watch this channel. So we have the Strip Bob coming in vivid black, red line red, and industrial yellow. I think that yellow one's going to look really, really cool. And from what I'm hearing, the industrial yellow is supposed to be almost like a canary yellow. Uh, canary yellow. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a really, really cool bike. Uh, the, uh, that's the Street Bob. And you notice uh, I'm working my way down onto the bigger bikes. There's no soft tail standard here. So, uh, and as far as we know right now, it would be a new addition. But as far as we know right now, there will be no chrome version of the Street Bob. So, I know some people were hoping for that. All right, keeping on, keeping on. We move on to the Fat Bob FX FBS. Uh, no major changes to this bike, but it will come in vivid black, red line red, and gray haze. I think this bike, uh, it came out in gray uh, a few years back. This bike looks really, really good in gray. This is a bike that I can see uh, our boy Joe riding. So yeah. He, he would fit this bike very, very well. Uh, guys, I do have merch. If you're interested in it, you can go to iRideClothing.com. And, you know, we can do stuff for clubs or custom prints or designs. You guys just DM me on Instagram right up here at the 305 Rider, at the underscore 305 Rider, and we can talk about that. If you guys want uh, shirts for your clubs or you guys, uh, I do have a lot of zip code shirts, like riding in the 305. If you guys want your specific uh, area code, sorry, not zip code, you can go ahead and ask. Moving along. The fat boy. If you guys watched my video last week on uh, the top 10 Harleys of all time, this was number one. The Harley Davidson fat boy is an absolute icon and it will be coming in vivid black, bright billiard blue. I think this bike in bright blue is going to look really, really cool. Yeah. And then a, uh, a two tone silver fortune and gray haze. Uh, which I think is going to look cool. This is the first two-tone that we're seeing here, except for that Pan America. But something interesting is last year and every year before, the colors came out, and they came out. They had a pinstripe listed on the colors. So, like, for example, the Fat Boy would have said Gauntlet Metallic Gray and Vivid Black with a blue pinstripe. Mm -hmm. This year, none of the colors list a pinstripe, which I think is pretty interesting i don't know if they're not going to use it which will be like a clean cut from one color to the next or whether or not it'll be some kind of generic thing or they're just not listening that i don't know you know harley they do they do their own thing they do what they want now just full disclosure for everybody i have been trying to get mike on a harley for a long time he says he's waiting for the Bronx. If the Bronx doesn't come out, I'm getting his ass on a on a street light or a, a road glass. He will try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's keep it rolling here. We move on to the Heritage Softail Heritage Chrome Trim. This bike does come in blacked out and chrome. This one is the chrome. Will be in vivid black. Atlas metal. Atlas silver metallic. This is the third gray slash silver that we see. And then we have Billiard Blue and Billiard Gray. So this is the fourth, the Billiard Gray, Gray or Silver that we see for this year. So I think Grays and Silvers and Blues are going to pretty much dominate the year. All right, moving on to the Black Trim Heritage. It's going to be, of course, in Vivid Black. Every bike comes in Vivid Black, just to establish that. It comes again in the billiard blue and billiard gray, but this prospect gold, I think that that is going to look really cool. It is Harley's um, 120th anniversary, 
So I expect that something in gold and they're delivering because uh, I'm really expecting the CVOs to have some gold to them too. Uh, Harley loves doing gold or, uh, or, you know, a lot of specialty bikes, especially in gold or orange mm -hmm. when it comes to their anniversaries. I, I also expect, I fully expect to see some kind of anniversary edition Fat Boy. So that should be really, really cool. I love the Fat Boy. All right, the Lowrider S. It is coming in vivid black and white sand pearl. Now, Mike, uh, can you tell the, I don't know if you can tell on the slide there. Mm -hmm. Can you tell though that the Lowrider S has a, a copper uh, wheel? Kind, it's kind of hard to tell about the wheel. I think you can only pick it, pick it up on the um, suspension, the, the fork, the front fork. So yeah, the 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 lowrider S does have like a, a copper wheel. I think it's going to be really interesting to see whether or not they keep the copper wheel with the white sand pearl. Because honestly, I don't think it looked all that good mm -hmm. in the gray. Let me see if I can zoom in here, so you can see it. You see how that wheel is copper, or a yeah. kind of a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. color. You, yeah, I think it's a contrast thing. Right? Yeah, it's absolutely a contrast thing. It didn't look that gray in the gauntlet gray that, or the gunship gray that you see right there on the screen. Mm -hmm. So my hope is that they'll just black it out for the white version. I think it it would look better and you know probably be less controversial. Uh, but then we're gonna move to the lowrider ST, and also with the copper wheels, it's gonna come in vivid black and white sand pearl. Uh, I can just go ahead and tell you guys right now, all of the ST bikes, the Lowrider, the Road Glide, and the Street Glide, these are the colors for all three of those bikes. They're going to be Vivid Black and White Sand Pearl. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them on the chat. I would love to know what you think about all this. Uh, I will say again, do me a favor and please hit the like button. It helps out the channel quite a bit. And if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, that really helps out the channel. And thank you, Voss Helmets, for sponsoring the channel. I am Joel, the 305 Rider, and joining me is my boy Mike, who doesn't say a lot, but what he says is very poignant. <laughs> All right, moving right along here. We get to the Road King special. Notice, like I said at the beginning, there's no Road King standard. And the Road King special is not coming with a gold trim. That's very important to note. Uh, so the colors for the Road King Special are going to be Vivid Black, Industrial Yellow, and like the Fat Boy, that Bright Billiard Blue. I think Industrial Yellow on this bike is going to look really awesome. Uh, I think a yellow bike with a blacked out engine, it's freaking fantastic. It's almost like Bumblebee. Like I'm thinking like yeah. the Faro Transformers. That... I, had a, I had a buddy of mine, uh, Lewis, he might be watching. He used to have a Bright Yellow Sportster. Mm -hmm blacked out engine he called it pikachu it was an awesome look i love that thing and just so you guys can see here's the listing of all the bikes and all the colors straight from harley davidson so this is as confirmed as it gets okay all right so like i said no road king uh standard and no chrome on the road king however they are expected to still make the police bikes the uh flhps they are still going to be making those probably in the gold trim probably with the windshield uh with the 114 engine so you know if you can get your dealer to uh get you one of those if you're dying for your for a roting standard then that, that might be an option all right let's move it right along here we get to the street light standard now we know the 107 engine is gone, so it's going to be interesting whether or not they throw a 114 on here or what the heck is happening. Or maybe they just have like three 107 engines left in the factory and they'll throw three of these bikes out. I don't know. But anyway, the Street Light Standard, which only comes with chrome trim, comes in vivid black, red lane red, and that Atlas metallic silver. Mike, this is going to be the bike I get you on, by the way. You know, you can fit like 80 beers in these. Uh, in both of these bags, 80 beer cans. I believe it, so they can fit my my ass on it. But it's, it's I just can't get myself on into the chrome. The yeah, chrome no, chrome is just... a lot of people are, and Harley does have a market for it, which is why they continue to make it. But I, I myself, I'm a blacked out guy. I like yeah. black. So if you're not a chrome guy, maybe you'll love 
the street light special, which does come in black trim, but this one's the chrome trim. The mm -hmm. chrome trim of the street light special will come in vivid black, Baja orange. There you go with another orange or gold yeah. for the anniversary year. The gray haze and the billiard blue with billiard gray. That's going to be a nice combination. That's coming in a lot of bikes. Yeah, I would have. I would have been, you know, a little. I expect more orange. You know, like I'm thinking of other brands and how they have like their flagship colors and they they push it more. Yeah, the thing is, Harley changes colors every single year, and mm -hmm. the only color that they make every year on every bike is the black. Right. Um, like I said, the orange and the golds, they usually tend to save it for specialty bikes or, uh, or anniversary years like this year. That's what Harley tends to do. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what you're riding a MT-09, right? From Yamaha? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's going to let him have it in the chat. I'll go ahead and post it up. But that, that's <laughs> not acceptable. Not acceptable. <laughs> All right, moving right along here to Mike's future bike. The Street Glide Special with the black trim. That's coming in vivid black, silver, metallic. Again, uh, billiard blue and gray. Industrial yellow and black. I think that's going to look really cool. Mm -hmm. And the aspect gold. I really want to see that industrial yellow and black. And, and black. The two-tone um, street glides and road glides for the last few years have looked really, really awesome. There was a red and black uh, a couple of years ago, 2021. Mm -hmm. But that yellow and black, that's going to be a really nice bike to see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like I said before, the Street Glide ST will be in vivid black and white sand pearl. No need to go back over that. And we get to the FLHTK, the Ultra Limited in chrome trim, will be vivid black, red line red, gray haze, and silver fortune, and billiard blue with billiard gray. Guys, if you want on the chat, if you want me to go back to any other bikes that we've already done we're done with the sportsters and soft tails and adventure touring so just go ahead and make a request there on the chat and i'll be happy to uh to go back and we can go over back over all right all right moving right along here again thank you voss helmets for uh for being a sponsor to the channel if you're looking for a helmet go to vosshelmet.com and use the promo code 305 rider or just use the link in the description of this video and get you a good helmet mike got himself a boss helmet. I did. And I have two right behind me, right there. Those are two boss helmets. All right, moving right along. The FLHTK, again, the Ultra Limited, this time with the black trim. It's going to be Vivid Black, Billiard Blue with Billiard Gray, Gray Haze, and the Prospect Gold and Black. Instead of the yellow and black, this one's going to be Prospect Gold and Black. And this Prospect Gold and Black is the classic combination for a Harley anniversary bike. I feel like this is going to be, excuse me, this is going to be one of Harley's best sellers uh, for next year, mainly because of that color scheme. All right, let's get to the Road Glide side of the house. We have the FLTRX, the Road Glide Standard. Again, that 107 engine, we know that's gone, so we don't know what engine they're going to put on this. This is going to be Vivid Black, Red Line Red, and Atlas Metallic Silver for the Road Glides uh, standard. Moving on to the special with Chrome Trim. We have it in Vivid Black, Baja Orange, Gray Haze, and Billiard Blue and Billiard Gray. That's also going to be a really popular combination, I think, the blue and the gray. Yeah. yeah. Um, they had a, a black and gray uh, again in 2021, and that was really, really All right, let's move right along here to the Road Glide Special with black trim. And just like the Street Glide, this is going to be a very nice looking bike. It's going to be in vivid black, Atlas Metallic Silver, or Atlas Silver Metallic, Billiard Blue and Gray, Industrial Yellow and Black, and Prospect Gold. I think this is going to be an absolute awesome bike. This. This industrial yellow and black. I'm really looking forward to it. I'd, I'd love to see the billiard blue and the. I want to see the the Baja orange. Something about orange just grabs me. Yeah, uh, I am gonna take you down there as soon as uh, the bikes come in, so you can you know break down and buy it. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe. I just gotta get a lot older though. Fit right into the market. Hey, that's not nice. We're not old. 
All right, the Roguelite ST, like I said before, all the ST bikes are going to be in vivid black and white sand pearl. Uh, again, I'll reiterate, my hope is that they don't do the, the bronze or copper rim on the white trim or on the white paint. I think that'll look clunky and awkward. I hope they just black it out. Okay. Uh, even, even on the gray, it doesn't look fantastic. Yeah. You agree? Yeah, I totally agree. I, like I'm thinking of every bronze wheel that I've seen on cars, that are it's usually a, a white a white car looks best on, like with that. Thinking like like a BMW. Like, yeah, I agree. all right, the FLT RK, the Road Glide Limited with the chrome trim. We have vivid black. We have gray haze and silver fortune, and again the billiard blue and gray. Uh, I like I said, like you said, I, I I'm really looking forward to this blue and gray. All right, then the same bike, Road Glide Limited, with the black trim, vivid black, Atlas silver metallic, Prospect gold and black. Again, that's the color I'm most looking forward to. Mm. And the billiard blue and billiard gray. All right, let's close this thing out. Any thoughts so far, Mike? Anything that stands out to you? I just had a quick question. The, so, so only some models are getting the prospect gold and black, and some are just getting prospect gold. Or is it always going to be that two tone uh, gold and black? Uh, no, some are just getting prospect gold. Some are getting prospect gold and black. Uh, right. Some of them will be two tone. Some of them won't. Okay. So okay. yeah, you know, man. Like I said earlier, none of these are coming, or at least it's not listed. That pinstripe in a third color that they usually had. Like I mentioned that uh, the in twenty twenty one they had the silver the. Um, Gauntlet metallic gray and the black that had a blue pinstripe in the middle, right? Uh, right. Which actually looked really classy, it looked really good. All right, Yambi Marco asks the breakout stopped or not from Europe? So the breakout stopped in the United States, I think 2019, maybe 2020. Uh, as far as I know, they're still making it in Europe. Uh, I honestly, I'm sorry, I don't know for a fact whether or not it'll be out again. For 2023 or not uh, i do know they made it in 22 and 21 but uh, i don't have any insights into the european market right now. but thank you for your question all right let's close it out here we have the flrt the freewheeler this is the one for gene uh mike <laughs> we have this is the trike we have the vivid black white sand pearl and billiard blue and billiard gray that's gonna be fun yeah. And yeah. finally, last but not least, the Triglide, the FLH T C U T G. I don't even know why they use those those numbers. Vivid black, Atlas, Atlas silver metallic, Prospect gold and black, and gray haze and silver fortune. So that is it. That is all the colors for. 2023 i'll go back through the slides one more time so you guys can see them all if you have any questions guys that's the time let's see nightster those are the colors sports to rest those are the colors and let's just move on down pan america pan america special fab uh street bob we got the fat bob fat boy Heritage with chrome trim and with the black trim. Lowrider S and Lowrider ST. Road King Special. Again, a note there is no Road King Standard on this list. We all know we already know that the 107 engine is gone. So we do have the Street Glide Standard somehow, though, and the Road Glide. So here we have the Street Glide Standard. Only in chrome trim. Here's the special in chrome trim. And the special in the black trim. It's five colors. That's a lot of colors for one bike. All right. The, all the STs, like I said, are white and black. TK, these are the colors for the chrome trim and for the black trim. Road light standard, just like the street light standard. Same thing for the special with the chrome trim. And for the special with the black trim. Now, why wouldn't they do Baja Orange with the black trim? I think that would look better. 
What do you think, Mike? Did I lose Mike? Why were you off the stream? I could I could my back. My back. Yeah, you're back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize that I was looking at the slides. All right. What's that? I was going to say the pitch in on when you asked the black and orange, that would look good. Yeah, I think that would look good in the in the black trim. All right. This is the road glass special in the black trim. Again, the STs in black and white. Road glass limited in chrome trim. Those are the colors. Black trim, these are the colors. Three wheeler and tri glide. Guys, if you haven't yet, please do me a favor and hit the like button. Uh, and let me just reiterate one more time. These the photos that you see of the bikes, obviously, those are our 2022s. There's no photos for the 23s yet. These bikes have no major changes to them. Uh, upgrading an engine would not count as a major change. Uh, these are all confirmed colors, like I showed you earlier. I have the list here, straight from Harley Davidson, confirmed by both the dealerships and the corporate office. And we do have five canceled bikes for next year the Iron 883, the Sportster 48, Softail Standard, Road King Standard, and Electric Light Standard. So, Mike, any thoughts on that, buddy? How do you like it? I like it. I, I'm curious to see. Also, um, someone Aaron brought up in the chat um, whether they did a bright blue before. And I was wondering if any of these colors have been like uh, been maybe touched on before. It's like our, it's changing from metallic to a flat. I was, yeah, that's, that's interesting. The, the billiards are usually a flat color. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, the billiard blue, what they'd have, just so you know, this color here, let me share it again. Uh, Amos Dunk says, dude, when will Harley do a water-cooled street glide? I'm ready for one. So there are rumors out there that they're going to make some kind of touring bike with the Revolution Max engine, but I think that's probably still a couple years off. Uh, let me go back to the billiard blue here for a second. He does agree that the model should have the black wheels, so that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let me go back here just to show you the billiard blue. All right, the billiard blue. Where are you? Give me a billiard blue. Not there's the bright billiard blue, and then there's the billiard blue. Mm -hmm. This blue is actually what the billiard blue was in 2021, because they did have it in 2021, not with the gray combination, but it was a flat color in 2021, and this is the actual color. I actually took it off the color palette. For so that's the billiard blue, and it is a flat color. It's not a, it doesn't have any depth. It doesn't look metallic. Right. So that is fun. Uh, Amos Funk, I agree that the ST model should have black wheels in the white sand, dude. I, I agree. It's a white sand pearl, and they absolutely should have black wheels. I don't think that copper color is going to look nice on it. But, you know, we're not Harley. All right, guys, uh, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, please do me a favor. Before you leave, hit the like button. Mike, I want to thank you for coming on with me, brother. It's cool Thanks, to hang bro. out, as always. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit the like button. Please subscribe. Thank you to Voss Helmet for sponsoring the video and the channel. And if you guys want any merch, you can go to iWriteClothing.com. And if you want special merch for your club or you want something special printed, just DM me on Instagram and we'll get you set up. All right. That's going to do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Ride safe. Don't leave.